In Japan, when cherry blossom season comes, every day the TV news reports on the extent of flowering, and many Japanese people have picnics under the cherry blossom trees. Once, Japanese literary man called Hanami or cherry blossom viewing an annual war. In spring, when the cherry blossom front attacks Japan, Japanese people become so busy. We prepare food and drink for the front line and bring plastic sheets to help in our fight for territory. We stake claim to land under the best trees. Usually, we Japanese avoid fighting and respect each other. But when it comes to finding a place for hanami or cherry blossom viewing, we lost our minds and go crazy about staking out our own territory, like China. Basically, in cherry blossom season, the parks become Taiwan. So today, I'll talk about why Japanese people are crazy about hanami or cherry blossom viewing, and I'll share 10 funny facts about hanami. Meshida jokes about Japan. Hey guys, it's Meshida. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm a comedian and I introduce funny Japanese culture. If you are interested in that, please subscribe to my channel and I'm organizing my solo stand-up comedy show in Tokyo. If you are interested in that, please check out the link below. And I have my Patreon page, Meshida Academia. Meshida. It says that almost 1,300 years ago, in the Nara period, cherry blossom viewing started in Japan as an event for aristocracy. At that time, they were viewing plums that came from China. It says that at that time, cherry blossoms were seen as sacred trees and instead of enjoying being viewed, they were prayed to. In the Heian era, the Tang dynasty or China's power was lost and Japan stopped sending messengers and trading. Then we started viewing cherry blossoms instead of viewing plums from China because they were originally made in Japan. So, Lai-chan, do you like to buy things made in Japan? Well, my husband was, so... Hey ladies, I was made in Japan too. Meshida. Aristocrats enjoyed viewing cherry blossoms as a ritual event. They held a ceremony and read poems, and after that, they had a banquet. Farmers also went cherry blossom viewing as a Shinto ritual. When the flowers started blooming, they took food and drinks and went hiking in the hills or mountains for the day. In Japanese, cherry blossom is sakura. The word sakura comes from sa, meaning gods of the rice field, and kura, meaning the place where God take a seat. So, sakura means the place where the gods of the rice field are seated. The reason why the farmers went cherry blossom viewing was that it was a ritual that sent the winter gods back to the mountains and welcomed the gods of the rice fields. After the ritual, the farmers enjoyed eating food and drinking under the cherry blossoms. Then, among both aristocrats and farmers, a brave person appeared and said, why don't you cut the ceremony and the ritual part? That's exhausting. And all people answered, that's a fantastic idea. Let's cut that boring part. As a result, cherry blossom viewing became only the eating and drinking part. Meshida. At first, hanami was only done by aristocrats and farmers, but the Kamakura era, since samurai became more powerful, hanami became very popular among samurai. But their hanami was totally different from the aristocrats. Instead of enjoying watching flowers, they enjoyed having parties under the trees, like what we do now. A famous crazy hanami party was held by Hideyoshi Toyotomi, the samurai famous for unifying Japan. He organized a big hanami event in Yoshino in Nara Prefecture. He planted 1,000 cherry trees there and invited 5,000 guests and had a big cosplay party. Many samurai enjoyed dressing up. This samurai's hanami party might be the origin of the Japan Expo. It says that it cost billions of yen for all the costumes. It must have been the most expensive picnic in Japan. 
Hey guys, thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed watching this video, please give a super thanks. Your donations to poor comedian is highly appreciated. In the Edo period, among common people, Hanami became very popular in Edo. At that time, the number of people who lived in city increased, and they started working in the city as workers, not farmers. So, among these common people, Hanami gradually became popular. This is because of the 8th Shogun or Samurai Governor, Yoshimune Tokugawa's strategy. When he became the Shogun, Ueno was the most famous Hanami place for common people. But since the Shogun's temple was built in Ueno, it prohibited people from having big parties there. And Ueno became an area for upper middle class people. But don't worry, now Ueno Park is back to being for the common masses like me. Then, the shogun established other hanami places like Mukojima and Askayama and planted many cherry trees. And he went to those places and held parties to promote them. But in fact, this was part of the country's reform. The shogun tried to force common people to live economically and restricted their entertainment, such as kabuki theater and prostitution. He provided hanami as a new way for citizens to relieve their stress and forget the fucking reality of their daily lives, to avoid the political backlash of the restrictions. 300 years later, this hanami strategy is still working for Japanese common people. From the Edo period to the Meiji era, some Westerners visited and stayed in Japan. It says that even among Japanese people, Hanami became a part of our culture. Many Westerners who stayed in Japan didn't write about it in their diaries or books. Some of them wrote about cherry blossoms, but they just wrote that Japanese people planted many cherry blossoms for only viewing. It seems Westerners couldn't understand why Japanese people planted many cherry blossoms, even though they didn't bear cherries. Yes, even our trees are sexless. So, let's ask Raijan if she likes our cherry culture. Raijan, when was your first time? Oh, I must have been about 20. I was young and innocent and going for a lovely evening stroll through the streets of Kabukicho. Wait, is there a famous hanami spot in Kabukicho? Oh, that cherry. Right. Beshido. In Japan, there is a famous phrase, hanayori dango, or dumplings over flowers. This means people who are crazy about eating dango or dumplings than viewing flowers. In the Civil War era, a custom of eating dumplings at hanami parties began. When Hideyoshi Toyotomi organized a big hanami event, at that time, the attendees were offered dumplings and they ate them while having a hanami party. Then, in the Edo period, many people went to Hanami to eat dumplings and drink rather than viewing flowers. So now, Hanayori Dango means people who prefer substance or profit over simple pleasures. Yes, to put it simply, in English, Hanayori Dango means capitalism. Beshido. In Japan, more than 80% of cherry blossoms are the Somei Yoshino variety. Somei Yoshino was produced by crossbreeding two different cherry blossoms at the end of the Edo period. Then, after the Meiji era, the Somei Yoshino were grafted all over Japan. So, in Japan, all Somei Yoshino are clones and all come from one original tree. That's why they bloom at the same time, because Somei Yoshino have a single cell and don't have a diversity in their cells and more than anything, they cannot produce descendants by themselves. Somei Yoshino all act the same, don't accept other species and don't make babies. For some reason, we Japanese feel a deep connection to the Somei Yoshino. Beshido.
Many foreigners may think Japanese people are crazy about viewing cherry blossoms and think we are very cultured and have an elegant taste, but that's wrong. For us, hanami is a great excuse to go drinking. We can pretend to be very elegant and tasteful and can drink a lot outside. Hanami is like having a bar in a historical museum. It means you can say, I'm going to a museum to admire historical art and go drinking in the museum. Even if, to be honest, you are not interested in historical art at all. All Japanese people pretend to enjoy viewing cherry blossoms. If we didn't have a food and drink, we would live in five minutes. Watching cherry blossoms without drinking is the same as looking at historical art in the museum. People act like they are feeling something from watching art. Actually, they think it's fucking boring and the maximum time they can handle it is about 10 seconds. That's how long it takes to open the first can of beer. More than anything, Japanese cherry blossoms are all clones and the same and so are the drunk salaryman beneath them. We drink to forget. After the Meiji Revolution, Japan tried to become a strong country and avoid being invaded by Western countries. We aimed to develop a strong army and a centralized national system of government and imperial sovereignty. So our Meiji government chose Sakura as a symbol of the country. The Japanese military used cherry blossoms as a symbol because they bloom beautifully and pass away. During World War II, young Japanese men believed that ideology and carried out suicide attacks. Unfortunately, most of them couldn't attack the enemy and just fell like cherry blossom petals. Now, I don't want those brave young Japanese soldiers to see hanami in Japan, because under the sakura which blooms so beautifully, we give up on fighting for territory and spend our evening vomiting. Nowadays, hanami zake has become an economical term. It comes from a rakugo or a traditional comic story in Japan. That story's synopsis is in the Edo era, two men aimed to earn money by selling sake at hanami. So they bought a sake bottle and went to the hanami place, but on the way, they couldn't help drinking the sake. So one man paid the other man and drunk. Then the other man also paid and drunk. They took turns, and by the time they arrived at Hanami, the sake bottle was empty and they couldn't earn anything. Now, as an economical term, Hanami sake means to do business within small communities, and even though they seem to earn a lot, in fact, they don't earn any money. Depending on the case, they have a debt. That's definitely my stand-up comedy business in Japan. So please help me. If you come to Japan, please come to my comedy show. And please check out my Patreon. Beshido. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So see you soon. Bye bye.